Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Water Resources Breadth section of the Civil PE exam. So let's get started. The regulations established by the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, NPDES, are intended to... If we look at this problem, we immediately see that it's a concept problem dealing with water resources. And if we search in the PE Reference Handbook, and at the time of this recording, we're using PE Reference Handbook version 1.2. If we search the term in this version of the handbook, National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NIPDES, we don't find anything in the handbook. It comes back, no results found. So this is an example of one of those concepts that can easily appear on the PE exam that we're expected to know when we sit down to take the exam. And if we know some of our background, this can be a pretty simple problem. But if we don't know, it's very complex, and our chances of finding the right answer to get this right are slim because it really just requires outside knowledge we have coming to the exam. So let's discuss the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System. The National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, the point of it is to manage pollutants from point source discharges into waters of the U.S., right? So point source discharges. So that would be something like um, a specific pipe, effluent pipe, leaving a wastewater treatment plant that has discharging um, treated clean effluent or a stormwater pipe discharge at the end of the stormwater network at the outfall. Those are point source discharges. So let's look at each of these answer choices and see what is correct based on knowing that the NIPTES system deals with point source discharges. So answer choice A, establish standards and specifications for construction of treatment plants to eliminate waterborne pollutants. Well, it's not just limited to treatment plants. We said any point source discharge, right? And we didn't say anything necessarily about standards and specifications for construction. So we talked about more so about standards and specifications for pollutants in the discharge coming from these point sources. So answer choice A is not correct. Answer choice B is, says manage and limit pollutants in treatment plants that provide finished drinking water. Well, finished drinking water, that's not a point source discharge that's going to be entering into a drinking water distribution system that'll be a network of pipes throughout a town or city to deliver drinking water to homes and businesses. So answer choice B is not correct either. <clears throat> answer choice C, establish regulations for the elimination of pollutants in wastewater treatment plants. Well, we said it does establish regulations for the elimination of pollutants, so that part we like. But again, it's not just in wastewater treatment plants. The point source is what we're looking for here. So the point source could be a wastewater treatment plant or it could be some other effluent discharge point such as the end of the stormwater pipe. So that is too limiting answer choice C. Let's take a look at answer choice D. Manage and limit pollutants from point source discharges into waterways. So we talked about this managing and limiting pollutants. We like that. It's managing them from point source discharges. Yep, that sounds good. Into waterways. Yes, that is correct. So answer choice D is the correct answer. So I hope that helped you. And if you're looking for more practice and review, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com, and we'll see you there.